What is going on everybody? Today we're back with brand new action figure news for you guys just on the heels of Ringside Fest 2024. If you missed our hour-long coverage of the event just the other day, man, I believe it was yesterday or the day, you know, it was like last night kind of or like 24 hours. I don't freaking know, man. It was a, I posted it in the wee hours of the morning. I was up till 3.30 a.m. trying to get that video done. So definitely go check that out. I greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment. Leave a like, man. I'd greatly appreciate it. It took about, I don't know, it took a very long time to get that video up to you guys and I stayed up as late as I possibly could to make sure that I got it up as soon as possible. So that was a really fun one that we got to break down everything in depth, an hour long of Ringside Fest coverage. But I want to get every, everything in today, man. We have some other things that I want to discuss in this video and a lot of stuff about, I really want to make a video breaking down some more of the images. And I guess we'll probably have to wait because I don't know everything about those figures. You guys know that the images weren't the best on some of it, but nonetheless, man, let's dive into some of the news that we got. Some of these are updates on what we saw in that Ringside Fest video and some of this is brand new, so we'll get into it, man. So let's start things off with this figure, and I know that some people already have these in hand, man, but it's the Ringside Exclusive WWE Ultimate Edition CM Punk based off Money in the Bank 2011. This is a figure that we talked about multiple times in the channel. We got it revealed to us at San Diego Comic-Con 2024, and it was an, an unbelievable figure. Probably one of the best Ultimates, if not the best Ultimate of the year. We'll solve that at the end of 2024, end of December, coming up in just a week or so. It'll be December, so at the end of the month, we will be doing our top 10 WWE Ultimates of the year, the best Elites of the year, the best AEW figures, the worst figures, everything. We're going to be breaking down the full year in review, but this CM Punk figure, everybody's been getting it in hand. I know there's some reviews up on YouTube right now, but mine should be in hopefully Monday. Hopefully Monday mine will be in, so probably Tuesday will be the earliest that I'll be able to get this review up to you, but we will be reviewing this, but this is a just a clear image of this packaging, and this light blue packaging is just such a great piece, and I know we talked about it a little bit during our reveal video or Ringside Fest coverage the other day, but I wanted to reiterate it because it's so good, and Ringside posted these up, and we only had the one image plus the blurry photos from the live stream, so I did want to get on here, touch on this. I think it looks really, really good, so I wanted to touch on it one more time. Just an unbelievable pack. I can't wait to get this in hand, but I do believe my man Alex West does have this figure already up for review if you guys want to check that out. I can't wait to get this figure in hand. It's going to be a fun, a ton of fun to shoot. It's going to be probably, again, like we said, one of the best Ultimates of the year, but let's dive into some other things. We have some other Ultimates, man. Bill McKenna posted up the Ultimate Edition Series 25 Great Muda, and he posted up some better detailed images of what we're going to be getting out of that figure, not only the regular edition, but the chase. And when you're looking at these images, man, a great looking figure. The gi looks good. The face paint looks good. And this looks a hell of a lot better than the damn live stream, right? It looks a lot better than the blurry, uh, you know, webcam video. And I know I'm not blaming them. I understand, you know, you got to make what works work at the time, man. You got to do what you got to do. But geez, man these photos look so much better they need to do this for every figure he needs to go they need to go to their apartment or wherever the hell they need to go to the mattel design center and they need to bring up every single figure just take a photo on your phone and upload it man because it's going to be just as crispy as this i don't really need for you know professional photography i feel like iphones nowadays take just as good if not better photos than a you know a two thousand three thousand dollar camera or whatever the hell so i think any photos y'all see on my reviews they're all done with one of my extra iphones it's actually actually my old iPhone because my current iPhone takes the bummiest photos you've ever seen for some reason. I don't know why it's so blurry, but my previous phone, which is like an iPhone 10 or 11 or something like that, I think. I could be wrong about that. I don't even know what iPhone we're up to nowadays. Maybe 16. Want to buy a brand new one, but still have not been able to do so. But the, just look how clear the images are, man. They, these look so good. The gi, the face paint, the red wrist tape. Everything about this figure looks immaculate. He also has the chase in there, and he does have the mist effect. It's just such a good figure, and this actually looks like a brand new torso that we're seeing here. At least I think so. I could be wrong, but some people were saying they could use this for Seth Rollins and stuff, which I think could possibly work. I think you could see Seth Rollins rocking this torso here. Probably make it a lot more accurate, but I, I like this, man. It's a really good looking figure. Definitely going to be one of those figures that people are going to want their hands on. A figure and a person, a personality, character that, you know, people have wanted in their collections for such a long time, especially from Mattel. And I think that these are this is going to be another great Ultimate. I don't think Ultimate Edition Series 25 is going to be coming out in 2024. I think this is going to be an early 2025 release. So qu quarter one 2025 is probably when Ultimate Edition Series 25 is going to drop. And if you didn't know, The Rock, Damian Priest, and Great Muda are a part of that wave. And if you weren't aware, Ultimate Edition Series 24 is Bray Wyatt, Finn Balor, and Solo Sokoa. So if you were wondering or waiting on that, this figure still has a little ways to go. So I, I'd, I'd be shocked. I guess anything's possible. Maybe we get this right around Christmas. They usually get us an Elite Wave or an Ultimate 
ultimate wave right at the buzzer. It's like right before Christmas Day, they'll get us one in there, so we'll see. But you guys know we're still waiting on, what, Elite 115 and 116? I feel like Elite 115 will be the last wave that we get. And then again, Ultimate Edition Series 24, I think, would probably be the last one that we get. But Great Muda looks really, really good right here, man. He looks great to me. Uh, be, by God, he looks damn great. But let's move on to this bit of news as well, man. They put up this right here, and it kind of came on the heels of Ringside Fest. They posted this up. Must be like an AEW Jazzwares. They wanted to kind of get in the eyes. They knew that, you know, WWE and Mattel were posting up some stuff, so I guess they wanted to announce this Ringside Exclusive 2-pack. And we do have Better Than You, Baby, Ringside Exclusive 2-pack, AEW Jazzwares, Adam Cole, and MJF 2-pack. So this 2-pack is going to feature MJF and Adam Cole. You can go through here. The gear, kind of plain Jane. It's the white and gold and black. It doesn't look bad. I like this color scheme. I just, I don't know, man. I hate the formula that they use for Adam Cole. I really don't like the formula they use for MJF. And besides accessories, man, I, I do not care about this pack. I just, I really wish that their formula was better. I just am not a fan of their formulas, man. For whatever reason, I don't know if you guys are with me, but I, I like MJF's formula better than Adam Cole's, but I am just not a fan of the of the torso and the leg. They just look frumpy to me. They don't look like themselves to me. And even if they are realistic or whatever the case is, I'm just not a big fan of this torso, man. I'm not a fan of the torso. You can release a hundred Adam Coles, a hundred MJFs, and I know they've released a lot of MJFs. I definitely prefer the MJFs to the Adam Coles for whatever reason. I think the Mattel Adam Coles are the best, but. At the same time, I just, I don't know, man. I, I like this two-pack in certain ways, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. You guys know that the Mox and MJF two-pack is out there. There's some other two-packs, but I don't know how well this is going to sell, man. I, I have no idea. Speaking of, I don't know how well things are going to sell. Uh, Ringside is actually doing their their first version of the Black Friday. It's like their early Black Friday sale. And there's a decent amount of stuff over there. I feel like the prices are better this year than last year. And I'm sure you guys know they're going to do Black Friday 2.0 and Cyber Monday. And they're going to have more deals, I'm sure. And I haven't really cashed out on a ringside exclusive or a ringside sale like a Black Friday sale in a really long time. But hopefully this year, man, I'm looking to spend. I'm looking to buy a lot, especially for surgery and different things. So we'll have to see if we can uh, find some different stuff on there and figure out some things that I want to purchase. But this two pack, I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think on this two pack. I think it's worth it if it's not worth it. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm kind of on the fence. I like Adam Cole. I like you know MJF. And the, the clothes are solid. I hope these jackets are good. The jackets look pretty cool with the MJF and Bay Bay jacket. You got the AEW title in there. It might be good, but I don't know. I'm just not that excited for it. Even It could blow me away. I could be completely wrong in this pack. I'm just not over the moon about this pack. But they also put up for pre-order AEW Unrivaled Series 17. And this wave is decent, I guess. I do believe we've seen these, though. Have we not seen these renders? If we've seen these renders, I'll definitely put them in there. But I want to say I remember seeing them. But we do have Swerve Strict. We have Kill Switch, aka Luchasaurus. We have Adam Copeland, Ricky Starks, Christian Cage, and Willow. And all of these figures, I want to say that we have seen them. And I want to say the the Edge was the better the better figure of the set. I think that you know the Luchasaurus is going to disappoint the hell out of me. You guys know because his formula is so bad, man. His formula is so bad, and he's one of those figures that aesthetically look insane. It's just such a good release, and I am not. I'm not kidding you when I say this, and I'm not trying to be dramatic when I say this, but the Luchasaurus AEW Unrivaled Series 5 figure is probably the most disappointed I think I've possibly ever been in a figure. I like so much hype, such an aesthetic figure, and then when I finally got my hands on it and posed it around, I wanted to vomit. That's how bad it was. I mean, it can't really stand up. It can't bend the knee because of the tassel knee pads. It can barely do an ab crunch. It's aesthetically beautiful, but everything outside of that is no good, man. It's no go. It's not good. It's not gracious. It is absolutely trash. And so that really bummed me out about the Luchasaurus. So if this kill switch is going to be exactly like that, which I imagine it probably is, it's just going to be another bummy, bummy release, man. Bummy release. I don't know why you wouldn't change that formula. I, you know, and it's not like his legs are really solid either. That's what stinks is that his legs slide out from under him and they, they get really loose. I just, God in heaven, it would be so nice to have a new, just, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they will release it and it'll be immaculate, uh, but I would love to see that, obviously. I want to see those things, but I don't know. I'm not going to hold my breath on that, but that is AEW Unrivaled 17. It's up for pre-order, I do believe, and we do have a lot of characters here. Willow getting her first figure. We have a lot of decent things in here. Maybe, maybe you like this. Maybe you like this. Maybe you want this figure. But at the same time, man, or this set, I should say. But there are some figures in this set that I'm not looking forward to. 
and kill switch, aka Luchasaurus, which I didn't even like the heel turn, man. Didn't like the heel turn. I would have liked to just seen Luchasaurus forever, but who am I, man? I'm not a guy that really prefers change. I'm not a big change guy, but I thought that that was interesting. You can let me know there. So we had a couple of AEW figure uploads up there for pre-order. The Black Friday sale is going right now. Got the Great Muda accessory, or the Great Muda images. The CM Punk is hitting. I cannot wait for that, hopefully. But I just, oh man, I don't know. I'm, I'm hyped for a lot of the stuff. I really wish we had better images from Ringside Fest, man, because I actually made a post on Instagram talking about the Elite 117 Roman Reigns. And we may go into this a little bit, but there is just some certain things about that figure that I discovered. And I guess I can let you know now at the end of the video here, it's a little bit of a news, but I, I pretty much realized, like, when this figure, when they first showed this figure, I thought that it would be on the Elite 114 Jimmy Uso legs because he was wearing joggers when uh, when this whole thing went down. And come to find out, he's just in regular Roman legs. So it's going to be the hoodie Roman. It's going to be promo Roman with the man butt and everything, but he's not going to have any jogger legs. It's going to be the regular wrestling Roman boots and Roman legs, which doesn't really make sense for this look. So that kind of bummed me out. I think that an easy switch would be Elite 114 Jimmy Uso legs, and then you could have an actual promo gear Roman Reigns, and that's probably something we'll play around with. Again, I do have parts on the way. People were asking about WWE action figure surgery episode 100. It's definitely coming. I want to have it up before Christmas time, or probably around Christmas time. Still waiting on a few more pieces to come in so that we can get that going, and I want that video to be, you know, a little bit more extra because it is episode 100. You know, we've been waiting on it for a very long time, and I want to get that out, though, because once that video is out, then we can roll on with 101, 102, and we can stop because any figure ups I've wanted to do I'm just waiting for episode 100 right because why would I why would I you know do a short little episode for episode 100 it needs to be special and then when we get that done then bam finally we can roll on with certain more current more you know uh consistent uploads when it comes to episodes of action figure surgery but nonetheless man I think that is pretty much going to wrap up today's news video I hope you guys did enjoy I'd love to know your thoughts on all this stuff down in the comment section below I'm getting the hell out man again if you missed our ringside fest coverage definitely go check all of that stuff out it should be a fun one but I'm getting out man hope you guys did enjoy let me all your thoughts down in the comment section below on all this i will catch you guys in the next video huge shout out to our patreon members man you guys are unbelievable thank you so much for the support as always but i'm getting out man enjoy your weekends i'll see you guys tomorrow for some updated stuff and i'll catch you guys later have a blessed one